Brian Duck and BK Constructions. We're in the unit next door to the one we've just finished. So we've got a faulty structural wall in there, but it's worse than the one we've just done. So thanks, Paul. No worries, mate. Good there, mate. And you've uh, just turned the radio off. So we're going to go in and have a look at this wall. Um, tell me to stop having So I've had the engineer in here, and um, the boys have already started on the bottom part. Before we got here, um, the, this was built back in 1996 before the timber codes, the new timber codes came back, came in, and it's terribly, terribly built. built. All the studs were cut different heights. Um, we never had any uh, beams over the top of the openings at all. The staircases had dropped up the top. Um, an engineer's given us a scope of works, and we've had to go through and... Uh, do it now up the top. It's a lot worse because we've got in there. In next door, we didn't have anything wrong with the roof, but in this one, we've got a really bad problem upstairs. Um, so far, we've straightened the wall up here, and on this end here, up the top there, we've left it the same. But when we get down that end, hey Dotty, hang on, mate. Good mate. And down the other end there, we've jacked it up about 50 mil to get it level for, for, for this end, so that's how far it was out. And uh, none of these, you can see these tie-down rods, none of those tie-down rods were tightened, they were just in there really loose, and the wall was just moving where it wanted to go. So you can see the staircase there, oh, good old Dottie's just put a, a, a beam in there, he's just put a, there you go, I've got it, you can, yeah. see, you can see that um, he's just put a nice big hardwood beam in there, a hardwood a block. To stop us there. But on the other side, you can see how far the staircase has dropped. It's dropped down considerably there. I'd say, I guess, probably 30 mil. Yeah, so we've got to put a, put a block in there and block that back up and get it straight again. And we're going to have to replace all these, um, because when we put it in, there's only one top plate. Here's the top plate. We're going to put a second top plate in there. And uh, then we're going to put all the new studs in there as well. And you see, Dottie's put all these triple studs in there to hold, to get that um, extra bit of strength in there and up the other end. So we'll run new studs and then we'll go back over this side and we'll do the same with this bit of wall in there. I call it dwarf wall and put another uh, top plate on it on there and we'll just put some new studs and make sure we get it all right. I'll quickly run upstairs and show you what's going on. It's hard to move here at the moment. So go up here. Right, this unit, uh, you can see where the boys are working at the moment up here. There were things like this happening on that stairwell wall. We've got corners falling off, all sorts of weird things. Now behind the, uh, um, behind these walls, we've got, uh, this, I think this is a bedroom behind here, but the one over there is a bathroom. And um, what we've got is, uh, we rebuilt this as I said to you. And uh, we've taken the, taken the ceiling and the wall sheets off so we can get a good look at what's going on upstairs. It's all got the roller coaster effect in it. And uh, we're going to try and level it out, straighten it out. There, you look over the top, there's an example up here on the door, on the top of the door. We've got in there, we've got what we call a door head. There's no door head in there at all. So as a consequence, look at the, take a good look at that and you can see where it's dropped on that side. There's a lot of weight there and there's another thing that they've done here is they've checked in these um, trusses, these are the roof trusses holding up the roof tiles, they've checked them into the top plate and cut the top plate down about, oh that's probably 20 mil there, 15 mil there, 15 mil there, 17 mil there, 20 mil in the end, all the different sizes so the roof's just moving wherever it wants to go. And uh, we've got to lift this up, straighten it out, and whatever. Now, we've got a, a truncated truss also that runs through there, and it's not sitting uh, on anything, it's not supported properly, so we've got to get that supported. There's a big bow in the room. So, um, anyway, we'll get up here probably in the next day or so, after we get the bottom finished, and we'll show you what's going on. But. Uh, at this stage, it's very hairy. It's a very pretty dangerous job up the top here, so we've got to be very, very careful with what we do with it and uh, make sure it's all OK. So anyway, we'll come back to you with this one. And uh, also, just before we go, um, that is the bathroom beyond. You can see the bath built through the wall. So what we're worried about is when we lift it, obviously, uh, the ceilings are going to go, so we're going to crack the ceilings in those rooms. 
and we just hope that we don't damage the waterproof membrane in the in the bathroom. So uh, anyway, that'll be uh, up up to uh, the boys next week. We find out what's going on there. So until then, we'll come back and see you soon. Bye.